Forking guys. Yogurt with a fork, cause I love forking yogurt. <laughs> There's not a lot of time on my battery. <laughs> Shit! I just released a song on Tumblr. I hope you guys like it. It's gonna play at the end of this video. Worked on it last night. Made me cry. Anyway, but the Onision Speaks channel isn't about me. It's about all of you. The Onision Speaks channel isn't about me. It's about all of you. This is Greg. Oh here. my god, I hate you so much! <laughs> this is what you should always do if somebody dumps you. Greg's statement describes his actions perfectly. This is what you should always do if somebody dumps you. This is what you should always do if somebody dumps you. Work, work, work on making them regret the day they ever considered leaving you. Be work, work, work on making them regret the day they ever considered leaving you. Be Go into your room, scream, cry, punch your pillow till you pass out, whatever. Take care of your problems on a personal level and then only show the world good things. Greg is very manipulative. Anyway, guys, here's the song that I wrote, recorded, composed, etc. last night. I hope you enjoy it. Dr. Business has decided that if he had to hear it, you have to hear it. Everyone has problems, problems, problems. But when you have a problem, the world must stop for you. Everyone has problems, problems, problems. But the only ones that matter are all centered on you. Always acting like you're Superman until they call you names and suddenly... Dr. B has prescribed a musical palate cleanser. It is unhealthy to have Greg's song stuck in your head. Let's get out of here immediately. You say I'm not a responsible parent. Um, and you don't seem to care that I've been hiding my kids from the camera for a long time because I didn't want to exploit them for money. Greg has decided to exploit a baby for money. Um, we started a Patreon. Uh, that, that helps, but it doesn't you know, do everything. So um, I decided to start a family channel since you guys don't care either way. And hopefully that'll turn the, the downward spiral that is my whole life right now. Um, anyway. Greg has no feelings. He can be dangerously insincere. Anyway, I just wanted to introduce you to my kid. Anyway, I just wanted to introduce you to my kid. I am responsible to take care of them. I am responsible to take care of them. Um, I just really... Um, I just really... Greg has just pretended to fatally injure his newborn child. You are a cocksucker motherfucker. I can't beat the fuck out of you with the one of my little finger. Dr. Business is crazy with rage. We seem to be in the time machine a lot today. What we have here is Saddam Hussein and Bin Laden making out. Jeez, that's hot. It seems we fucked up and landed in the swamp again. Oh. Look at how sad Bin Laden Oh. Look at how sad Bin Laden. Look at how sad Bin Laden looks. Doctor Business is very happy he got to see this. God. Oh my God! Saddam Hussein is dead. Saddam, Saddam is dead. Saddam died. Saddam definitely dead there. Dead. Yeah. He's dead. All right, this is proof. He's dead. We can now take over. 
All right. Greg is very manipulative. All right. Camera. Can you see them? They're blue. Your crotch. Yeah. Let's hope we don't end up in the swamp anymore today. I ran out of mustaches. But it's okay, I have a box cutter so I can just fly to India and get some more. But it's okay, I have a box cutter so I can just fly to India and get some more. And they say they feel like they're 200 pounds. They're apparently debating becoming a bulimic. Okay. You're the bulimic, you skinny bitch. Demanding perfection of women, but perfection is nothing 99.9% .9 of us can ever achieve. So if your goal in life is to be happy, I feel like obsessing over perfection is just stupid. Like Greg has been making women feel insecure about their bodies for the better part of a decade. It's just stupid. Like seriously, I know I'm a guy, but check this out. I have a pimple here, which isn't very nice, but you know what? What is obsessing over it going to get me? <laughs> Got a little love handle right here, but do I worry about it? No. Why? Because me being concerned with this keeps me from being concerned with things that actually matter. Like being productive, awesome to others, paying my bills, etc. This is what's in my fridge. It's pretty awesome. I eat that food whenever I want, as much as I want, and I don't really give a fuck about what anyone has to say about it. I bet if Blair or Jacqueline said you were fat, you'd cry for a week, then go on a diet. Dr. Business is a big fan of what Blair and Jacqueline have done. Superficial bullshit. To all the women watching this, I hope you ask yourselves, do you think you're really the only woman in the world who feels insecure about her body? Wait, it's not just you, but rather billions of other women who also feel insecure? Do you realize how silly this is? Think of it this way. The way women feel about themselves is almost equivalent to a hypothetical situation where every single guy has the same size penis, but they all, for some reason, think that theirs is smaller than the guy next to them. It's Greg's junk is smaller than average. Everybody feels insecure. Let's go through the checklist, okay? Your belly is supposed to wrinkle up when you lean forward. This part of your arm is supposed to jiggle. This part of your arm is supposed to jiggle. Doctor Business must get out of this dimension. It's part of the fact that I look like a total transsexual. I only look this way because I am one. Anyway, I've been told quite a few times in my past that I give terrible advice. So? I decided to make this video to demonstrate what really bad advice truly is. But before you continue, just know that some of my videos can be really offensive. So if you don't want to be offended, don't fucking watch them! Don't fucking watch them! Don't fucking watch them! Hi there. I'm old Greg. A young girl wants to make a positive impact on a boy she's interested in. Okay, if you want a boy's attention, it's easy. Just send him multiple death threats and then show up in the middle of the night in his bedroom with only a ski mask on. He'll be yours for like ever until the cops show up. I want people to do something and they refuse to. I just hit them. And ah, that normally works. To hit people. Well, I can't see my dick. When I pee, so you want to keep talking about your problems or what? So you're a meat eater who wants to lose weight. Hmm. Isn't it obvious? Just grab a knife and voila, fast food. You could always kill her and put her in your freezer. Then she'll be with you forever. Just... Oh, well, I always identify myself by who's inside me. <laughs> oh, well, I always identify myself by who's inside me. <laughs> um, you should tell him to eat lots of Laffy Taffy, and then he'll do the Laffy Taffy dance. Like this. <laughs> and then he'll feel all better. Well, that makes me want a hamburger. <laughs> what was the question? When I miss my boyfriend, I just have sex with my dog, Brisket. He's a good lover. Well, you can do what I do and just do a la la. <coughs> you know, and then you'll pay all your bills in no time. You might want to get implants, though. Roofie your mom and pierce her lip in her sleep. That way she'll have to accept you. Well, you said he's a kid. 
So maybe you guys should watch SpongeBob and do the Laffy Taffy dance. Ow! 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 Dr. B can't take it. significant other is heavily associating themselves with people they used to have sex with! Vicky! Mm, a good way to stop being picked on for being gay is to stop being gay. And then no one will pick on you anymore. Well, you know what they say. Sex is the best exercise and all desperate men love little fat girls. Love is for pussies. Kill yourself. Rob, that was really inappropriate. I don't care! Well, when I don't want people to sit next to me, I put thumbtacks on their seat and I jab them with sharp objects. <laughs> I weigh 345 pounds and I have diabetes. So, you want to compare problems or do you just want to shut up and finish school? You know what my mom used to tell me? Honey, when you're feeling depressed, have sex with random people you meet on Craigslist. I haven't been depressed since! Well, here's my advice. Your boyfriend sucks at killing himself. He clearly needs help. Killing himself, I mean. Dr. Business knows that was a lot to take in. So sit back, and Dr. Business shall tell you a tale. Pardon me. I couldn't help overhearing. You two creative types. We're in a band. Who are you? I'm Ramsey. Ramsey, Howard Moon. I love your hair. What's that about? It's your basic backcomb structure. Slightly root boosted, framing a cheeky fringe. Nice. Whenever I hit a creative drought, I go fishing out on Black Lake. Yeah? Yeah, with the wind in your hair and the water flowing. It's perfect for inspiration. That sounds great. We could do that tomorrow. Uh, let me let you in on a little secret. Gather round. Not you, non-bread. The best time to go out on Black Lake is right now. When the moon is full, you and your lady friend can have a special time together. I'll even give you a discount. 40 euro. It's a deal. The boat's tied outside on a jetty. Listen, I gotta go. The wife's here. Ramsey! I'm coming, Matilda! should never go up on Black Lake when the moon be full. Why? Because there's something out there. Something evil. Something that goes by the name of Old Greg. Who? Oh. Old Greg. Legendary fish. Some say he's half man, half fish. Others say he's a 70-30 mix of the two. Whatever the percentage, he's one fishy bastard. There's many stories of Old Greg as there are sailors in Nantucket. That's 29. Some say he's acquired the taste of human meat, won't respond to conventional bait. Only way to hook him, to use a child's toe. Some say he's over 1,200 year old. Some say he can read braille with his toes. Some say he rides a moped across the ocean floor. Crushing crabs in his wake as he roars along at 30. He dances on the waves and lures you with his hips and his lips. He's one smart fish. Some say he's huge and blue. Not you, non-bread. Get back on your mango chutney bed. Oh, it's me. Some say he paints his pubic hairs yellow so he can read in the bed. Some say if you look into his eyes, you'll forget yourself and wake up in Calais in an Ypres-Marche covered in dung. Even the moon's scared of old Greg. Some say he has a pair of lips on him like a supermodel. No man can resist, and as you draw in for the kiss, he sucks your soul out through your balls. Some say he read a pelican's mind once and fainted. Some say he used to drum for the Kaiser Chiefs. Others say he didn't. In fact, everyone says he didn't, apart from me. Some say he farts so loud, people in Africa say, ha! Whatever he is, he's one bad mother, and he's out there on Black Lake. Into the time machine. It's not safe for us on the shores of Black Lake. 
Well, when ECN speaks fashion, we're going to search for something controversial. Circumcision fail. I don't know. I Gray gives a lot of bad advice to his mostly underage audience. Fail. I don't know. I heard that circumcision actually does help prevent HIV. <laughs> Autocorrect. Why? <laughs> yeah, no, I think pretty much everyone draws a line by the time you get about here. <laughs> Is this? I'm pretty sure that's a woman. Did she get circumcised? <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure they like patch you up or something when they're done, right? Maybe they just have periods. <laughs> Maybe they just have periods. Fuck off! It's more likely that we simply think that people deserve to choose whether or not they undergo this procedure. But hey, screw human rights, right? <laughs> That's right. A <laughs> condom. Yeah, but I'm gonna play devil's advocate here, okay? Condoms suck. This actually happens to babies, too. Sometimes circumcisions go wrong. <laughs> Explain that to your kids. Yes, yeah, sweetie, we tried to have you circumcised, and now you're a girl. <laughs> Our bad. <laughs> what is that? Greg may not be circumcised. I just grossed myself out in a terrible way.